Remember that face, relatively unsuccessful tech investor turned totally unsuccessful presidential candidate, now embarks on comeback tour with near zero chance of success. That's Andrew Yang on CNN. The media is lapping it up, so we just summed up the soundbite. Andrew Yang's announcement this morning was for a new political party, the Forward Party. The leadership includes Miles Taylor, the one-time Trump aide who penned an anonymous op-ed in the New York Times. In this, he claimed, well, claimed a lot of things, but most of all what he claimed is that he and a number of other people in the government were actually protecting the government and protecting all of us from Donald Trump. It was laughable for a lot of reasons. Most of all, Taylor's delusion that he was important enough to do what he claimed. Then he crashed in and cashed in on the media love with a book deal. Third parties never work. Just ask President Ross Perot. He was an incredibly successful tech investor. Even he could not make a third party work. He had infomercials. Yang does not. It's never a good sign that day one of your rollout package includes an op-ed in the Washington Post titled, Why We Won't Fail. That's from their op-ed. If nothing is done, they write, the United States will not reach its 300th birthday this century in recognizable form. Think about that double negative for a second. Backward logic, imagery, nobody talks like that. Nobody normal writes like that. If nothing is done, will not reach. They could have just said we must act or America on its 300th birthday won't be recognizable. But then it loses the cool elitism feel that the reader must contemplate with their morning coffee here in Washington. In Washington, they love to contemplate. It's fitting for a group run by Miles Taylor. You, America, are too divided, they think. You, American voter, well, you don't know what's good for you. You don't know what you are doing. We, the elite, the elite of the elite, know better. We are going to save you from yourselves is essentially what Miles Taylor and Andrew Yang are saying. And thus, the media laps it all up. Well, there you go. Why? Well, third parties perhaps give us a little bit of hope. It allows us to feel better about ourselves. Perhaps America can do better than two profoundly flawed men in their 1970s, we only hope. Andrew Yang is proving the Churchill truism, that politics is war, but in politics, you can die more than once. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.